On the 25th of September 2019, I decided to trust God with my love life. I took a leap of faith and listed down the qualities I wanted in a romantic partner. There were some non-negotiables and a few that I wasn't so hung up on. I didn't have marriage in mind but I wanted to be in a relationship. I was tired of being alone and I wanted my own person. Over the years, I'd come back to that list and add an update or just reinforce my trust in God. Years passed and nothing seemed to be happening. But on the 17th of July 2021, I finally got into a committed relationship with someone who was my own person and definitely a gift from God. So how did we meet and how did we know that we wanted to commit to doing life fully with each other? Well, here's that story. So today we're here to talk about um, kind of our story, yeah. I guess, a bit of how we met and how Most we kind of figured out that we want yeah. to do this thing called life together. Mm -hmm. So Cassie, yeah. what were your first impressions? Oh, how did we meet? Oh. My first impressions of what? Of of this young man here when you when he first okay. came through because so, I came through like a wrecking ball. I beg. So, um, I was sitting in my office one day. Back then, we used to like shop on ASOS so much. Me and my colleague would just be we we're supposed to be working. No, we used to work. Those we used to good work. Times. Good times, yes. And then we would just be you know, scrolling and buying things. And I saw something I wanted, and I put it on my Insta story. I was like, oh, I really want this. I can't. Was that what I said? Something along that line. Those lines. And I was like, I really want this. And then somebody messaged. And your boy came correct. I was like, you know what? You want it? I got it for you. E for what? Energy. Because guys, you know what? You need to always back up your mouth and your intentions with... But there was no intention. So what are you even saying? There was like literally nothing. It was just some random person following me. I didn't even know they existed. I just knew that I put up something and somebody messaged me. I was like, oh, um, can you tell me an address where I can send it to? And I was like, mm, okay, what's happening here now? So what intentions? Did you have an intention by then? No, no, no. I was just casually buying shoes for random point in time because I'm done with this younger brother, B. No, but for real, I don't think... I just felt like it was a very nice young lady. Maybe I can try to get her no more, you know. I need to separate myself from the sea of monsters out there. Wait, was that... We played a long game, Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. I'm actually even just, like, realizing Please, something. Chill, wait, wait. Okay. So, was that not my first time talking with you? No. Oh, you used to reply my story. Like I said, a random nigga in my, in my DMs. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but... I have a masterclass how to go from a random DM nigga random in my nigga DMs in DM. <laughs> to put a ring on that finger. <laughs> go to my channel at Umark Ehi. Um, he doesn't have a channel. I'll be holding classes there. He doesn't have the a channel. Ones come out. So, yeah, anyway, okay. so, like, she put something up on her... On her Insta story. Insta story. Does it top I was like, look, um, yeah, I need to, I need to make myself stand out from the crowd. So I got it for her. Oh, I actually have the shoe here. Yeah, and the, sh the shoe is still here, although it has been... Yeah, it's been better been, that's, yeah it definitely has. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, and then that's how we spoke. And then after that, I kind of asked her out on a date. And she was like, yeah, I mean, why yeah. not? Yeah, I don't know. Why did I even say that? I remember when, like, they actually delivered... No, I remember when you said it, and I told my, co my colleague, because we were sitting together, I was like, oh, look at this. And she was like, I better take the shoe. And when I was, I remember, because I remember telling her that... I don't want like somebody who buys shoes for you and you not feel like they're entitled to your life or you know how it is on Twitter. People will be like, oh, after I spent this on you, but I was like, okay, well. That built you up from the ground. You know all those kind of things, but well, thankfully we're not a weirdo like that. But yeah. yeah. So I asked her out on a date. Um, I think it was all right. Like, well, that, that's at not the what end you of said it, the last at the end of time. It, I wasn't feeling the vibe. Like it was like she was I, just doing her own thing. This boy, this yeah, but this man is saying thing. something else. You have three mouths, babe. <laughs> this is not what you said the other Let time. Let me explain. Is that is that okay? Like it was all right. I was like, okay, it's not a fine girl. She has finally come. But then I felt like I was carrying the question on my head, like my shoulder on my neck. I was the one asking questions everything. I was just like, oh gosh. You when know, we finished, I even have like a picture of the DM, and you're like, oh, it was a, it was really nice to meet you. I enjoyed today. Yeah, because then, because I had to, you know, at that men, you know, what I'm talking about. So yeah, liar. That's time, what you're saying. At that point in time, you have to keep keep the energy wrong. If I now say, oh, it was boring, would there be part? He two? keeps on spreading this narrative that. He was carrying the conversation on his neck. I still have back pain from when I was carrying it on. So please continue. Yes. I'm not exactly the most talkative person. Um, so, yes, maybe you were prompting conversations. 
but I wasn't just there looking at you. You're making mm. it seem like I was just there, like, okay, mm, I was talking. Any, anyways, so um, post that. Um, this is what he just did. <laughs> post that. Um, yeah. Uh, what happened after that? So she stayed. She she stayed putting up this um, staycations. staycations. Yeah, I was like, you know, I used to. I'm all, yeah. So yeah, I, 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 we used to have like a lot of staycations back then. Um, we just like pick a random place, not not random, but like a place, and we we'll rally around people and ask. Sometimes, if I don't have like enough number of people to go for this stuff, then I put it on my Instagram story. I'm like, oh, we're we're doing this. If you're interested, hit me up. And so I think that was the next time we really like got to meet again after that first date. Yep. Yeah. What what vacation was that? So that's the one we did at um, Niger Nomad Space. Um, oh, we, are you sure that was? I think yeah, we probably met before that. No. No, no, that was the first one. I remember like, it was me, you, Lex. Um, that's where I met Josh. Yeah. So I met Mitchell. Um, so I met Chin Miriam. Yeah, I feel like we we had already seen before that. No. Yeah, My memory is actually not so great, but. I remember that was the first vacation. Like that was vacation wise, that was the first one. Ah. That was the first one. Um I don't know if it was before or after that that we tried to do yeah, I think it was after that we now did the the failed Cape Verde trip. Oh yeah. No, that was before that, babe. Yeah. Which yeah, the Cape Verde, yes, the Cape Verde one was be I feel like we're just all over the place and people are like these people decided to do video, they did not decide on what they were going to talk about. <laughs> the Cape Verde one was was before that, yes. So um, there was a time that Cape Cabo Verde Airlines launched in Nigeria. It was all the rave. And I was like, yeah, I, I want to go there. And then I put it up and, J and Jennifer responded and you responded as well. Mm -hmm. So we started planning that trip. Do you remember? It was before, mm -hmm. then we were planning the trip together. So it was me, him and Jennifer. So um, December 26th or thereabouts. But then somebody, this somebody here, realized that his passport was... He had less than six months for it to expire, and he didn't do anything about it. So lies, they lies. bounced no, no, him. No, 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 please, please, please. You see, this is this thing about memory. How do I need to just oh, yeah, talk things down? Just talk. Let's so say. when when we saw because a package deal, they're mm. launching. Yeah. I'm like, okay, hundred k to go and come out. Hundred thousand just to go fly fly up and okay. down. Okay. And What's then the I had paid. Thing? It was not after paying. While I was not checking the requirements, I then realized that you need to have six months. So you need to have that for own. any trip. Though. Yeah. So I did. I didn't know then. Well, yeah, I travel. Like, You've gone to then. so many places. Anyways, lack um, of preparation. That's how he didn't shout for loss to the No, day. no, I want to finish because I actually tried. Like, I had a plug. The guy was like, don't worry to come out. What was the plug? This is my plug. Give me my passport in January. You paid the guy? Yes, I paid him. Mad. So how did you go to Ghana? You went to Ghana now? No, I was to Ghana after that. Oh. I was to Ghana after that. Okay, yeah. So we were planning that trip that didn't work. And me and I went on cheaper and just myself. We didn't even refund him. We used his money for the hotel that he paid. We stayed there, me and Jennifer. I remember, that I think that was the second time I was meeting you because then I came to the airport and he was already at the airport and they had already given him a lie. <laughs> I, I got to the airport. I got to the airport. <laughs> they had already given him a lie. By 4 a.m. <laughs> for a 7 o'clock flight. And I, I still stood on the for one hour. Wait for me to reach the front. The guy just opened my purse and I said, this is where your, your journey is ending. Close it back and give it to me. And he was No customer care, no nothing. No even to say, oh, you know, we help you. We have beauty cabals. The guy was very heartless that morning. Anyway, so then I came to the airport and I saw him there squeezing his face. And he was just very... He didn't even, like, say hi or anything. Obviously, yes, later on I knew that he was going through something. But then I just looked at him and I was like, well, this young man is, doesn't have manners. And we just went on our trip and moved on. And I, I think I later told you that that day I was like, that that was very rude. Because, yeah. yeah. Because someone was going through heartbreak, but... But how am I supposed to still, know? You're still a friend. And either way, so, I mean... We didn't speak for a bit yeah. after that. Um, she was like, oh, you're very rude. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I still followed her. And then that's when, you know, did the yeah, whole staycation. Yeah, yeah, the which was interesting to me because I was like, I mean, after that experience, why, uh, when I declared interest in staycation, why were you still fine with it? But, I mean, it, it went on. Yeah. Um, and then post that, we just kind of had a couple of staycations. That's true. We've just been in, like, the same circle going for staycations together. But nothing really ever happened. We were not even having that conversation of, um, do you want to do? It? Do we want to do anything together? We were just like not, not all cool and nice and just. I was still looking at you with one side. I was like, this rude young man, please. I think that for me, I'm very big on like people being acting right and being, like, don't you think so? 
babe now. Yes, 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 yes. What, yes, what yes, do you yes. think? Okay, consume my state. Yeah, so I mean, it's very big on manners, yeah. um, home training, mm-hmm. although some people don't have it, um, and, and that. So, what then happened after that? Um, I, I, I oh, then we know. had the oh my, well, this thing is this whole history is actually kind of long. So this mm-hmm. is like spanning across like two years. Yeah, 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 two years, and then we had another staycation. This time around, it was for the Vows Day when we went to Lakwe Lakes. Yeah, yeah, and then we did like secrets, secrets Valentine's. Yeah, secrets. And then Valentine. I was yours, I think. So like throughout the years. All this while that we're being on staycations, so it's like you you hint at something, but you never really back it up. So for me, I just like this boy is not a serious, like he's just not a serious person at all. Because you cannot be saying, oh, I like you, okay, then you like me or what. But it was also good for me because I wasn't even thinking about you in that way at all. So it was good because I didn't want any awkward situation where I would not have to be like, I'm sorry, no, I, I don't want to. I'm very, I don't like, I'm a very nice, soft girl. So, so it was good for me that he wasn't even like being serious about it because I would have just had to say no I'm not in that space with you anyway so then we now did the vows day thing we started talking more we started showing up more because I remember one time I drove to the island and then this um last month people they took they stopped me yes I was looking at my phone but I was looking at google map and they stopped me and they didn't find money on me so they took my power bank and I was just so sad about that power bank thing and then he sent me a new power bank and then the food thing that happened after yeah, yeah. The, food, the food thing was after the food thing was after you no know, like when i tweeted that i wanted some food and then you sent it to me yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then you were talking talking to me through like things that were happening things that were happening to me like my stuff with supple and you were being considerate and i was like and i was looking at you like ah, okay maybe you're not like what i thought you were mm. and i think that's when i started being more open and okay continue yeah then i mean then the, then the, IIT, the thing IIT thing happened. and then I think IIT was kind of where I was like, okay, so we're both now sort of on the same page. When the IITA thing happened, and then you had that conversation with me in the night, and you were like, um, this is what you want, something like that. I was like, hey, okay, let's see how it goes. But then even before we traveled, I remember I told you that I think I gave you like a um, green light. I was like, yeah, you can actually mm-hmm. ask me out now. The green light was big like this. Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, but you light. have to ask me out. And then, yeah. and then she said, she said, she said, oh, I think you should ask me out during the trip. I was like, yeah. say no more. Yeah. Say no more. Um, so, yeah, went on the trip. So, what was supposed to be a single trip, halfway through the trip, um, I did par. <laughs> Started dating and, you know, kind of, yeah. that's where it kicked off. Actually, One year later, we're married. Married. Um, I've been married How for you know, almost one year. Yeah, in July, it'll be one year. Yeah, in July, it'll be one year. So, yeah, fun times, great times. Um, How did I know? I think for me, it was... Um, when I say preparation meets <laughs> hard work, um, no, um, I kind of had been speaking to one of my colleagues, um, well, he's my ex-colleague now. Who's that? Um, Jide. Jide. Um, so, you know, I was like, Jide, how would you, how did, would you know when you're ready? And Jide said, look, uh, look, in this life, there's no 100%. Mm. Like, everybody, you can never miss out that 100% of your thing. But you need to ask yourself, what are those four or five things that are must-haves for you mm. um, that... You know, I, they, they, those are your deal breakers. Everything else can be learned. Can, you can grow. You can, you know, do better. Um, but there are some four or five fundamental things that will be it for you. And, you know, so I took out my pen, wrote down four or five things. What did like, you write? Tell check, me. Check, check, what check, did you check. write? What did you so, write? Well, that's for me. And, no, no, say it uh, now. Uh, uh, so what? then I, I mm-hmm. was like, okay, I need someone definitely, you know, someone that fears God. Um, someone's passionate wow, about God. Wow, some God-fearing. Um, <laughs> yes, you know, some people who are God-fearing, some people who God, they fear them. <laughs> but yeah, God-fearing. Um, and there's someone who was smart. Um, so if I wasn't smart, what would, what would even make you feel like I'm not smart? Like, what, what is that thing that you're looking out for to say, oh, he's a smart person? I think it's just more about the conversations. I and mean, the level of conversations you have with someone will tell uh, you kind fair. of their mental... You know, fair. Like, and then, you know, she, she's a doctor. So, like, <laughs> if you can go to medical school, don't worry. We are very, very smart. Um, third thing was then being compassionate. Um, I think being compassionate and being able to show level of compassion. This was something I really, very interesting about Cassie, you know, while we were dating. I'll just notice that whenever we go someplace, she makes sure that she greets like the security men, wow. the the waiters, the waitstaff, like everywhere. We could just be passing. She's just like, oh, hello. So now these guys are even like, what's, what's going on with this Yellow lady? crack. <laughs> like every single way she, she went. You know, and that was a, a good one. I think for me, fourth thing was then being teachable. Um, mm-hmm. Being able to know that you are um, you're you're not doing so great and do make conscious be better. 
and then a bit, you know, the last one was knowing yourself. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, no matter where you are in life, you need to have a good understanding of who you are. Mm -hmm. So you need to be able to tell yourself the fact that, look, oh, this is me, I know that I have scores in this place, you know. And as long as you are aware of who you are and, and you know, where you stand, you can then be better. So, I mean, those, those things get out, so, okay, you know. This person ticks all the boxes, so, yeah. yeah. You know, funny enough, eh? This thing that you said about knowing yourself, I used to feel I've been having these conversations with myself, like even like recently. Yeah, um, I used to think that oh, I, I know myself so well. Um, this is who I am. I'm very kind-hearted. Um, this, this, this. But like recently, I just I'm thinking that you know it's, it's crazy because you used to think that you're just this really good girl, but you actually were not so great. Because I think about like all the people that I have had like stuff with, even if it's not like a relationship, maybe situationship, right? And I know that in my head, I, I used to think that, oh, I'm very understanding. If we have stuff, I'm like, I'm always talking to them. We're like, oh, we can't do this, we can't do that. But then I got married and I realized that, no, actually. So it's a big, no, this is, I'm actually being serious. No, no, I and mean. Me, do, you, do you get what I'm saying? I used I, to think I that do. I was such a good good person. But mm. then I, things happen, like maybe we have a, like a fight or something and I'm my face is strong and I'm waiting for you to come out. I'm like, wait, is this how I was back then? And I used to think that I was a good person. I'm just like, I mean, at the end of the day, that's, that's why they said journey of self-discovery is a lifelong journey. Yeah. Like, you know, you would keep learning more about yourself as you go into other situations. And let me tell you something for free. Mm. Yeah. If you think you know yourself, just wait till you get married. Actually, it's crazy. Online. Just wait. I mean, they, a lot of people said this thing before we got married. Um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I mean, everybody says it. So, yeah. And then yeah. I got married, I was like, hmm, I see you what you mean. New things, I see yeah. what you mean. I, every crazy. single day. So, I mean, so for you, what was, what was the defining? How are you like, okay, this person? Okay. Um, okay, I think one thing that I really want to talk about is like this t timing thing. Because um, I think about it, not lately, Shab, but sometimes I just think about it, I'm like, ah, no, ah, nah, God, God knows how he works, right? Because I realized that when we first started talking, like the time that you sent me the shoes and we went on the dates and, you know, all the staycations, before that was like two years pro, right? I imagine that if we had started dating back then, we would definitely not have last gotten dance, married. Last dance. Exactly. So I, I think about it, I'm like, well, yeah, now I see why you had to, like, take this long to happen. Like, why we had to, even though we knew each other, well, kind of interested in me. Ask me, I didn't want to see you in each other. <laughs> it took this I'm long sure. for I've, it to I've actually happen. Things, yeah, because, like, back then, we were both at, like, different levels um, in the sense of, like, our own personal growth, right? Yeah. I'm sure that there are, like, things that would happen today. If they had happened back then, I would just be like, yeah, this nigga, pack my whole bag and just go. But, like, now you can we have, like, a bit more emotional maturity. maturity. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If, if I think about it, back we were then... We not suitable back then for ba each other Back then, all. you know, my, my patience level was this... Even your lifestyle. This, was, this, was I know, back then, I, I, I know, I... I apologize to people that, that worked really close to me back then, like 2018, 2019. Man, they saw Shiggy. <laughs> they You're saw laughing. Shiggy. You're happy. They saw Shiggy. They saw Shiggy, but, but we've, you know, I've grown. Uh, I've gotten better. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. And also, I think like, that period where you, we had a conversation at IIT, and I was like, I'll think about it, and I'll let you know. Before I said that, yeah, okay, fine, you can ask me. I remember because, like, I was... Praying about it. You know, I told you I was going to pray about it. Mm -hmm. And then I spoke with Maz. That was, this is going so funny because that was the first time I met her. Like, it was not like we're friends. We're not friends or anything. But we, I, I, I think we had a conversation. We're like, oh, let's meet, go out and eat. And I remember speaking with her about it. And then it just felt like, okay, I mean, I'm praying about this thing, but I've not seen anything that says, don't go ahead. It was more like everybody just seemed peaceful and calm. And so I was like, okay, yeah, well, let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah. Very important to pray about stuff. If you're a Christian, yeah. I know some people don't believe in God, but yeah, no, even even before in even before I proposed, like I, I did like a one week fast. Did you know, did you fast? Of, yeah, I did. I, told I know you, you told me you were praying, week, but I don't know if it's fasting. Like I did a one week fast. Was like to be like, God, please, this is like the final step. If, it, if it's if it's not your will, Lord, let me know. <laughs> show me a sign, you know. Um, and that's when I now spoke to my, my colleague of my ex colleague there, my friend actually. Yeah, this is your friend. Um G D G D Martin there and yeah, that's kind of how we found ourselves here. Yeah. Um it's been It's been nice. It's been it's a been, nice experience. It's been a nice experience. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. actually. Can't say I, I live a boring life. Um <laughs> because I'm funny, that's what he's trying to say. So okay, so for question, me yeah. yes, I actually have a list. 
I have a I have a very funny list. If you see my list, my list is like um <laughs> No, oh yeah, no, no, must be both. But I, when I say I have a list, it's even like my timeline for like me waiting, my waiting period here. Yeah. So mm. I have like oh twenty seven. No, I don't know if it's up to twenty seventeen. God, that big. Yeah, That's I have like where I'm like oh god, please. And then I have like maybe I meet somebody. I'm like oh god, um, is, is this, this depressing? You? Yeah, that kind of thing. And I just kept on updating it till like it finally happened. But I had a list of like the things that I wanted to see, just like he had the list. And well, evil was in it, but. I'm not tribalistic or anything, but yeah, I mean, you're not evil, but I got married to you. And then, uh, obviously, somebody that is God-fearing as well. I don't even know if I saw that. But I think that for me, I saw that you were actually very teachable too, right? Mm-hmm. And then you were also soft, because I don't want, like, any hard guy. Me, I don't have that kind of energy. You're actually very, you're actually quite soft, a soft guy. No, no, soft guy. Yeah, soft, soft guy, guy is what he means. Yeah, so I think that... Um, I'm actually thinking about it. Yeah, God fearing, soft. Not obviously, so has fear. has um, a plan for his life, and not like a someone that's sleeping on the streets. Twenty twenty. Yeah, someone that is also like kind of financially stable was it was definitely important. Yeah, I I don't know about your financial stability, Densha, but you kind of gave me a picture. I actually want to check my list. I think I still have it. Should I? Yeah, um, see, my head is so oily in this video. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, God. It's getting dark and it's hot. We can't... See, that's the problem. Put on the AC now to be making noise. But let's, let me try it. Um, what should I look for? Financial stability. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, don't look at my list. I've seen the list before. Eh. Oh, I feel like I could show them. I know, I know how I did it so that you can see. Mm-hmm. So, this is... My list is dated 25th September 2019. And it says, Tall... Easy on the eyes, preferably with a foreign UK or US passport. <laughs> evil. Actually, I actually just said evil. Yep. That was it. Wow, mad. And then the one, two, three, four. The first one is a Christian whose heart yearns for things of the Lord and has the Holy Spirit. And I, I put in brackets, he has half of this. You have half of you had half of that. Do you have everything now? I have God in my heart always. Hundred. <laughs> Loves me the way Christ loved the church. Yeah, you Kind. Oh, yes, you're actually kind. So, yes. Wow. Kind, empathetic, emotionally intelligent, and you had all of this good sense of humor, has a stable. Later, you, see that, you see that I don't know how to crack jokes. No, you're not as funny as I am, but you're, you're, you're okay. Or but not as. Yeah, that's it. Stable, good job, financially buoyant, someone that's romantic, um, romantic does like water. surprises, vacations, vacations, and a man that listens and communicates. That is in touch with his feelings and emotions. Yeah, that's actually true. You actually have all of, had all of them. The only thing that you didn't have was the foreign passport. Um, and and thank, then, God, you're not thank God that God so, has done it for me. God has done what for me. In three, four years, I'll have my foreign passport. Wow. What's this operation? What? That I don't know about. Operation Blue Are you going to marry? marry like, are you looking for someone to marry? No, don't passport? worry. Don't worry. I'll sort it out. <laughs> anyway, so yes, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of been um, a journey. Um, <laughs> A journey of growth, a journey of learning. Um, definitely have loved every single part of it. Yeah. Um, Maybe not every single grow. part. I mean, I, I look at it like... that some parts, um, everything has led to where we are today. Yeah. Um, the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights, um, and everything. So we won't be here if we hadn't didn't have those experience. I would say, yeah. while growing is painful, it's needed. Um, yeah, and I'm happy to be married to this beautiful damsel. Da. It all stems from the DMs on Instagram. Bro. So my man I don't have seen it coming. <laughs> Shoot it's your so shots. crazy. And it's even crazier that I was the one that made like the actual real, real step that led us here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's it's true. actually so crazy. So don't 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 was, wait. Go on. Don't wait for anybody to make the move, man. Yeah, if you feel like it's girl, guy, if you feel yeah. like it's working for you. Make your move. There's sometimes people are clueless, both guys and girls. Yeah. So you need to put your on the table. And you're not moving correct, my dear. You move on. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting dark. I, I feel sure. like I've said this like ten times. Yeah. So we'll round it up. Thank you for taking the time out to Thank listen you. to us. Um, hope we haven't bored you. Um, yeah. So if you're new think, here, okay. Please share, like, subscribe, watch all the past videos, future videos. I feel like Mark is always waiting to say this thing. Because I never say, I never say, oh, please like, love. I feel like if you are are waiting, you love it. Hey, guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Please, I'm I'm not a YouTube. I'm a YouTube celebrity by proxy, so I need to... I'm not even a celebrity.
<laughs> God, I need to stop hard. talking. Oh, I, I yield. Now talking. you do this thing. Anyways, thanks everyone. Um, hope you've had a great time. Watch out for more videos. Watch our past videos. Yeah. And yeah, share with your friends, your family. Become part of the tribe. We tribe. don't have our name yet. Um, so we will find maybe the, the Cassians. I don't the know. Stallions. The Stallions. <laughs> <laughs> Stally Baba. I don't know where that came from. Anyways, bye okay. everyone. Thank you. Cheers. It's Ibida. It's Ibida. I don't think that's correct. Nope. Wow. Sorry. No harm intended.